Lambda exams are national qualifications in speech and performance and they range from grade one to grade eight. The exams include things like speaking in public, verse and prose and devising. We had 18 people sit in the exam in gold and silver medal, with 17 achieving 80% of a published distinction and one achieving a merit. We just want to pass on our thanks to Mrs. McFarlane for all of her help and support throughout our examinations. We all know how important that is going to be to us in the rest of our lives. We would now like to show you some snippets from our pieces that we did for our Lambda exams this year. happened months ago, but I think this is fair considering my husband has shown no sort of remorse for his actions. <sighs> the first time I knew I loved Oberon, I think it would be a built up of experiences that truly made my mind up. <laughs> I remember one evening he encouraged all the fairies, his and mine, to cast a spell that resulted in fireworks that were not only a visual spectacle, but a full sensory voyage. You could taste a velvet chocolate on the tip of your tongue, smell a berry-like aroma floating its way into your nose, feel the sparks warmth and magic on your hands, and hear the bands that slowly twirled into a symphony of strings. Being with the Crusades, under the guise of a holy war, which I'm sure we've all heard before. It was a war of religion and oppression. But the second time I went in, after the Germans, was for oil. They kicked the Germans out of the Middle East and implanted their own ideals and cultures on them. For example, in Egypt, the literacy rate of a grown man at the end of British occupation was 47%. The average wage was a mere 600 pounds a year. Now compare that to what we had in this country, a post-industrialized country. The Egyptians were not quite that. However, we were more than happy to exploit them for their materials and their wealth, their spices and their riches. For what? Our own gain? To put our own cultural identity onto them? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't quite stop there. Nemo canem impuni lacessit. I kicked an Edinburgh dug lover's dug. Leastwise I tried. My timing was o'er late. It stopped what it was doing till my gate and scalp it off to find some other mug. What a sensation! If a clockwork bug said, Trin you a brawly o' your pate, the emerald folk would leave you till you fated, ye miss like would get a flea in your lug. But kick the freed o' man, or he a try, the freed o' woman even, that's far war a felony, mere dangerous for by. Meddle with pear dumb craters gin you do, that maks you a wrecked, cruel Brit. My, my, and what do you think, you brawl front yet, as far? 